Alright, hello YouTube, this is me, Daryl here, and um, some people have been having an uh, error of 611 when you try to restore the iPod or iPod Touch. Um, I have that also, but as you can see, now it's working. Um, I'm not really sure, like, like, um, it's like, I didn't create a fix or anything, but, um, this is what I did. Well, first of all, you're just gonna go and delete whatever version of iTunes you have. As you can see, iTunes, I'm on Windows 7, where's the sticker, yeah, Windows 7, anyway, so and um, just delete whatever iTunes version you have, and then you're going to update to iTunes 10, um, I'm just going to show you, iTunes 10, it looks like this, and then basically, um, since since your phone, I mean iPhone or iPod Touch, is probably in recovery boot mode, so it's not gonna load up anything. You want to put it in um in recovery mode, so iTunes can recognize it. And then, so in order to do that, um your phone is gonna be um your phone's gonna your iPod Touch or the phone is gonna be is gonna keep have that spinning logo thingy, and all you gotta do is um hold the home button and the power button until the screen turns off and once it turns off let everything go and plug and plug in your iPod touch or iPhone into your USB cable into your computer via USB and while, when you do that you should be holding the home button so hold the home button and put the USB cord in your iPhone your iPod touch and it should go on um, it should turn on and keep on the home button until you see the recovery um, the, the iTunes logo with the cord and then after if everything works if you did everything correctly your um your computer should start install a couple of drivers if you're on I don't know how Mac does it but on Windows on Windows it will install drivers and all you gotta do is go to iTunes click on um, restore don't worry about it updating because I mean I would rather be on 4.1 and it works than 4.0 is not working anyway and then if everything is working correctly as the restore process goes along your computer should keep on installing drivers alright and then that's basically what happened to me and then finally first time you know so I just hope you guys luck I mean wish you guys luck as you can see the iPod touch second generation MC model that's it subscribe